Hello Sporters! Welcome to Endless Sport Time! 20 years after his retirement, Michael Jordan remains one of the most iconic figures in basketball history. The Chicago Bulls saw the NBA change forever, when Jordan was drafted, and became the best player of his generation. Jordan was a huge pop culture figure, who helped basketball grow beyond a sport. Chicago has had memorable players like Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, and Horace Grant. Even his final years with the Washington Wizards, also featured some interesting names, though his disappointing tenure. The following teammates, spent time on the same side as Jordan, and few fans remember today. 10. Jerry Stackhouse Michael Jordan coming back from his retirement, to play for the Washington Wizards in the early 2000s, led to some amazing new teammate. Ownership of the Wizards, influenced Jordan to return to the court, and lead the new team. One of Jordan's big moves, was trading Jerry Stackhouse as an assistant. Stackhouse was one season away from his career high of 29.8 points in a season. Unfortunately, Jordan, and Stackhouse, didn't have enough chemistry to make the playoffs. 9. Charles Oakley Early in Michael Jordan's career with the Chicago Bulls, he had a beloved teammate, that most fans had forgotten. Charles Oakley was trying to carve his identity in the league, playing hard, and standing out for his tenacity. Then players like, Dennis Rodman, made a career out of that fame. Jordan was furious when Chicago traded Oakley, to the New York Knicks, for veteran Bill Cartwright. Even though Cartwright brought multiple rings, Jordan constantly insulted him, referencing his injuries, calling him, Medical Bill. Oakley took off more for the Knicks, to have Jordan express his anger towards Cartwright. 8. John Sally. The bad boy era of the Detroit Pistons, spawned Michael Jordan's greatest rival, before winning his first NBA championship. John Sally was a bench player, for the Pistons in their big wins, they eliminated the Chicago Bulls so many times, before Jordan finally beat them. Although many bad boy Pistons held grudges, Sally eventually teamed up with Jordan, during the 1996 season in Chicago. The Bulls going 72-10, were looking for another title, saw themselves benefiting from the teaming of Sally with Jordan, after them being rivals for years. 7. Robert Parrish. Michael Jordan, teamed up with the former nine-time All-Star, and it's hard to believe that, no one is talking about it today. Most fans didn't even care, probably because, Robert Parrish sat on the bench most of the time, and had 10 minutes per game when he was with the Chicago Bulls. The best years of Parrish's career, were a large part of the three NBA championships, in the 1980s with the Boston Celtics. When Parrish joined Chicago, he won another ring with Jordan in 1997, before retiring after. 6. Ron Harper. Another respected veteran joined the Chicago Bulls, in the late 1990s. Ron Harper, was the team's starting point guard during that time. Many fans remember more of Steve Kerr in that role, probably because he had some clutch shots, and was reliable in the last minutes, when he needed to score. However, it was Harper who started in small roles, after his previous successes with the Cleveland Cavaliers, and Los Angeles Clippers. Chicago didn't get much from Harper, but he was good enough to play solid defensive, and aggressive mid-team ball with Michael Jordan. 5. Christian Leitner Christian Leitner, and Michael Jordan, could have been rivals, given their prominence of the Duke, and North Carolina men's basketball team. However, the NBA sees them as being traded to the Washington Wizards. Leitner couldn't match his stellar college success in the NBA, but he did underperform for a few seasons. Jordan, added Leitner to the Wizards, in hopes that another winning fighter, could change the culture. 4. Tyrone Liu. Los Angeles Clippers manager, Tyrone Liu, is known today for his basketball smarts, but he was once a respected NBA player. Liu was never going to make an all-star team, and since he accepted that, made him become a highly regarded role player in the league. Moments like Allen Iverson crossing Liu, and stepping over him, could be used to ridicule him, but Liu made big appearances, thanks to his tough defense, and reckless demeanor. Michael Jordan wanted Lou on the Washington Wizards bench. Probably because he showed them what they lack. 3. Craig Hodges. One of the funniest stories about Michael Jordan's forgotten teammate, is that of Craig Hodges. The NBA saw Hodges, becoming the Chicago Bulls' premier three-point shooter, when those skills were hard to master. Chicago took advantage of Hodges, as a bench player to win two NBA championships, and a three-time three-point contest winner. But, an earlier passion for social justice rights by Hodges, angered many in the league, and eventually blacklist him. Hodges felt upset and saddened that, 
Jordan didn't support or speak up for him, or even want to help the community in the manner he did. 2. Richard Hamilton. The Washington Wizards chapter of Michael Jordan's career, has largely been overlooked for his sake. Jordan obviously made a mistakes playing for a losing team after his dream retirement. Jordan's front office decisions, ruined him more than anything else. Richard Hamilton was the best player to team up with Jordan in Washington, but they didn't get on the same page. And Jordan traded him to Jerry Stackhouse, with the Detroit Pistons after just one season together. Hamilton turned to a three-time All-Star after that, and the leading scorer on the NBA championship team. 1. George Gervin. Having two of the NBA's top 10 all-time scorers, in the points-per-game category, on the same team, is a business scenario that would be talked about today, but it was overlooked in 1986. George Gervin averaged 26.2 points per game during his career, tied with Michael Jordan at 30.1 points per game. Gervin was at the end of the road, so it was not really seen. He only played one season in Chicago, before retiring. Gervin was still able to make 16.2 points per game, but the team wasn't ready to compete. Jordan played alongside another legendary scorer for a season, before finding the perfect assistant in Scottie Pippen. Alright guys, this is all I have for today. If you think I left out something, don't hesitate, to drop it in the comments section down below. Also, if you find this video interesting, give the video a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel, for more videos like this.